do a quick, when should I use JSON in general? You mentioned extras. It makes total sense if you're splatting logs into a thing or API responses, like just take the API response and store it as JSON. So you're going to store it the type as JSON. There's a balance of when it's like smart to actually use this and when, nah, you actually needed a separate table there, but you were, you denormalized when you shouldn't have and now you're going to have problems, usually data consistency problems. Uh, what's your heuristics? Like when is JSON, JSON be a good idea and when is it not a good idea? Yeah, so I mean, there's, uh, it, it, it dives a little bit into like relational versus NoSQL, right? Mm -hmm. Like I, th I think it's worth a quick detour there is like you, you always have a schema no matter what. You're just like maintaining that in the database or you're maintaining that in code. Like right. if your application expects something to be there, now you're building an if statement to say, if this is there, otherwise do this, right? Or write out a default value. Yeah. Whereas when you add, add a column in Postgres, you're adding a default value. There's a number of things that, hey, if you don't rely on that being there, great. In a schema, there's, there's really usually some things that always exist. Like, hey, you've got a user's table and there's like a username and a password. That's always going to exist. You've got some really basic fields. And what I tend to do is like, oh, if it's a temporary use thing, or if it's like a tags thing, or this is kind of extras that doesn't exist on every model, instead of creating a whole other table, for us, we run uh, a database as a service that exists on top of AWS and Azure. And some things we need for AWS, some things we need for Azure. We could create completely separate tables for those servers, or I could just say, oh, this extra field I need only for Azure is over here. So it's kind of when it's, you know, optional extra fields right. um, is a really, really common case that I see quite a bit. And that's kind of that extras category. Right. I use it for settings a lot. So for instance, notification yep. settings on a user, like here are a bunch of emails we may or may not send. And these are like triggers for them to say whether or not they want those emails. And I don't really want to have my own table for that. Some users... They, they never filled it out. It's just the default. And then every once in a while, we're going to add a new email that we want to send. And so it's easy to just add that as in your code and not have to go through a migration process to add a new uh, uh, column to another table. So I'll just be like, well, here's a new email. Just throw it in code. And it's just flexible that way. Yeah, I think that's a, a really kind of good way to think about it. It's, it's basically a lightweight table right there on, right. That, on that object, right? You've got, hey, maybe some nested data, but... I kind of don't want to go two or three layers deep because now I'm basically, you know, now I've got to go and figure out and recompute all those dependencies and constraints and, and all that stuff. So a layer or two deep as a table kind of works really well as a heuristic of um, if it's light enough weight. I think the other piece is, you know, how are you going to do analytics on it? 